The next point after negotiation is concluding purchases. So purchases are normally concluded either manually or either automatically. In some cases, management approval is required in order to conclude that purchases. Now it all depends about the title. So how the title will move? It again depends on the retailer. It again depends the contract between the retailer and the supplier. And again, it properly purely depends on the supplier. So all three perspectives are important while concluding the purchases. So first of all, the transfer of title may take place as soon as the order is shipped. There, there is a situation when the product is shipped to the uh, retailer, normally the ownership of the goods belongs to the retailer. The title of the goods belongs to the retailer. So such kind of arrangements are also there once you conclude particular purchase with the uh, sub purchase particular contract between the retailer and the supplier. Uh, the second part is about the retailer assumes ownership after titles are loaded onto the transportation vehicle or uh, the tra they, they, are, they have been sent to you. The vehicles is loaded. So then in this case, it is considered that the titles belongs to the retailer instead of manufacturer. B, the arrangement of transportation is done by the supplier or B, arrangement of the transportation is done by the retailer. In both cases, if the situation agreed, negotiated is like this, then the titles belong to the retailer. Then the next part is about the retailer takes title when the shipment is received. So there are situations when the retailer takes the ownership, takes the title, once the retailer receives the good at the, de at the delivery, uh, at, the de at, the, at the deck of the retail store, at the goods receiving point of the retail store. So once the goods are received, the goods are physically received, the documents are received, entered into the system, that retailer considered them as the ownership, as a title of these goods are transferred. Again, it depends on the nature of the product. It is food or non-food, it depends. It is the arrangement of uh, supplier and the retailer, the, the, the whole decision of the title, the whole decision of the ownership depends on it. And then there is another part which is the retailer does not take the title unless the goods are invoiced, unless the, by the buying cycle has been complete. So there are situations where the title uh, will remain with the manufacturer. For example, if the goods have been sold to the retailer on sales basis, in this scenario, the title, the ownership of the goods will be with the manufacturer. It will not be with the retailer because once the goods will be sold, then on the basis of the sold stock, the retailer is going to pay. The retailer is going to uh, pay inform to the supplier to the supplier, and the supplier will generate invoice, and then the retailer will pay to it. And then, once the goods are sold, of course, then these titles, these ownership of these SKUs, these quantities belongs to the retailer. So, such kind of scenario is the last point, is the last part in this discussion, where uh, you are going to conclude the purchases, and then you are going to conclude about the. The, about, about the title of the ownership of these products. So the, the retailer also accepts merchandise on consignment basis. So there are situations when a retailer sends you product and the whole stock is about the consignment and the ownership of and does, does not take the ownership of these particular goods. The supplier is paid after the merchandise is sold. As I just explained about the on sales basis or on consignment basis. So such arrangements are agreed and concluded earlier in the contract. So when the retailer has negotiated everything, now he's going to conclude about the purchases. So in, con in con getting the purchases, there are two, three, four methods which I've just discussed where the titles belongs to the manufacturer. There will be cases where the title belongs to the manufacturer till the goods are received and the, the title belongs to, will remain with the manufacturer unless the goods are sold or the title of the goods remains with the retailer. So retailer will decide, the supplier will decide, and the, the agreement between both of this will end up into concluding the purchases in a win-win situation.